You know, sometimes we're just so deep into a topic that we lose sight of what everybody else outside the topic sees. I've been a physical therapist since 2006. I've been a private practice owner since 2001. I'm so deep into the patient care experience from the provider side that it's impossible for me to understand and look at it from the consumer side. And a lot of times I try to tap into other businesses that I don't understand so well so that I can understand what it feels like to be a consumer and then bring some of those lessons back into the world of physical therapy. And one of the things that I've talked about looking at airlines, looking at restaurants, looking at how other businesses are run, when I think of the hidden value within a physical therapy session, it's not just about the quality of care. It's also about the timing. So a 10 a.m appointment on Monday, Wednesday, Friday is generally more valuable. It's a more com competitive time slot than a 2 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursday. You know, 2 p.m. is later than most of my geriatric patients want. It's too early for anybody getting out of school or getting off of work. It's just kind of a dead zone in the late afternoon. It's after lunch. There's just nothing really that goes on during that time. Um, but 10 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday is when all of my geriatric patients want to come. It gives them a chance to sleep in a little bit, gives them a chance to get their day started. It's before any of their afternoon activities begin. Um, it is such a competitive time slot that once somebody secures a 10 o'clock appointment, they never let it go. What I would like to do is recommend, and I've talked about this before, you can't charge more based on time, but what you can do is create a membership that has additional services. One of those services being priority scheduling. So maybe somebody buys $150 a month membership. In that membership, they get access to a home exercise platform. They get access to other amenities, but they also get premium scheduling so that they get first access to the schedule. Now, if they book that 10 a.m. spot, other individuals who don't buy the membership don't have the opportunity to book that 10 a.m. spot. Uh, it's a way for you to provide added value to the people who are willing to pay for it, the people who are seeking that out. Another option here, which sounds completely counterintuitive, is selling shorter sessions. So I know a lot of us are, are in the geriatric world. We think all of our patients want an hour of dedicated time one-on-one -on -one with the therapist. But the reality is there are a lot of patients who don't want to spend an hour in the clinic. I just did an evaluation this morning, start to finish, we were done in 20 minutes. The patient was extremely happy. The patient signed up for a full plan of care. It was exactly what the patient wanted because the patient had other activities they needed to do. So selling a premium level short session is a great way to start optimizing those spots on the schedule that are just less busy. The last time talking about less busy, there are patients who enjoy group settings. I am a person that I don't want to go to a restaurant if the restaurant is empty. I want to go to a busy restaurant. I want people around me. If I go to the gym, I want to see other people working out. But I know that there are also people who do want exclusivity. And so while I do abide by you know, the AMA definition of a CPT code is one-on-one -on -one care delivered by a therapist or an assistant under the supervision of a therapist when we're talking about time-based codes. I also understand that you can deliver one-on-one -on -one in a group. So if you come to my physical therapy clinic, there's usually going to be two or three therapists. There's going to be two or three patients. There's going to be wellness members. There's going to be a lot of activity, a lot of buzz around the clinic. But what if a patient doesn't want that? they're still getting compliant care if they go to my clinic, even though there's a bunch of people around, but that patient should have the opportunity to pay a premium price on top of what insurance pays to have exclusivity. So maybe if that patient wants a quiet clinic, nobody else around, maybe they're gonna pay an extra 20 or $30 a session. Maybe they're gonna join a membership to provide exclusivity and now they can book the two o'clock appointment on Tuesday and Thursday because nobody else is in the clinic. I'm taking something that otherwise had little to no value, adding value by getting the person who wants that kind of service, who wants that kind of experience. So I think you can always find those value adds and that's what's gonna make the difference between a PT service as a commodity versus a PT service as a profitable business.